It's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. This is day 24 of my December daily catch up. This is going to be a double pager because I do have a couple of things that I want to document and I want to squeeze in some decorative bits and pieces too. So I'm starting with this photo of me and my son at the Christmas lights. We ended up having to go on Christmas Eve because the night we had originally gone out to go and look at the lights, it had started storming, big thunderstorms. So we had to go home. So we ended up going to this amazing house that had amazing decorations and they had this gigantic teddy bear out the front. So of course we had to have a pose with it. And I'm trying to use up some of the journal cards that I have in my stash. So I'm just going through and backing the photo with some of those. So I think some of those are from Echo Park and some of them are from the Simple Stories Snap collection um, from a few years ago as well. So yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag of things. So I'm just trying to get those used up. So I'm just going to do a bit of a doodly water around this uh, green section with my white Uniball Signo gel pen. And I am going to use a couple of these clear um, foiled stickers out of the Happy Planner sticker book, the seasonal one. That again is quite old. I just really love laying those over photos, especially when there's um, sort of empty background space. And yeah, they're just, I've used them throughout the album and they are helping to keep a cohesive element throughout. This cut file is part of one of the Confessions of a Paper Addict cut files from last year. It's actually the bow from the Builder Wreath cut file, but I just cut the bow out because I wanted to get it used on one of these pages and I finally got it <laughs> on the second last day. So I have just backed that with some of those journal cards again. I just really like those tartan patterns. So I've used a red and cream and then a green. Now I'm using some of the um, Christmas cards. It's like a pack I got of kind of pre-folded Christmas cards and I have not made a single card with them. Um, I've used them a lot in this album though. I really love the colors. So I'm going to use this craft one that says Merry Christmas and I'm first just going to back it on this really beautiful burgundy um, snowflake paper that is from Echo Park that I've been desperately trying to get used and I've finally used uh, pretty much all of it. I think I ended up tossing what I had left. I only had a few scraps. So now I am just doing a little bit of painting. Um, I've done very little mixed media in this album just because it is a traveler's notebook and I was a little bit wary of doing it but I'm right at the end so I thought I may as well just chuck on some gold so that's just a gold Kaiser mist I'm just doing a kind of little scribble top and bottom and then a few teeny tiny splatters and um, it's maybe not coming up too well on camera but it's nice and shiny and bright gold now I've just gone ahead and I'm tearing up some gold foiled washi I just really like the look of um, torn washi and I've actually used quite a bit of washi in this album. Um, for someone who doesn't use it very much, I'm quite proud of myself. I'm just going to glue my photo down now. I am using glue actually quite a lot because I find that the chunkier the album gets, the more the edges tend to lift up, even when I've used um, double-sided tape. So I just find white glue is really helping to keep those edges down. I'm going to create kind of like a ribbon cluster at the bottom here where my bow is sitting. So I've taken some red and white twine, some gold embroidery thread, and I'm also going to use that gold washi there. It's actually one of those plastic backed washies. So I have just left the backing on and folded it in half and I'm using it more as a ribbon because it turns out I don't have any gold glitter ribbon. So I've just stapled that little cluster on at the bottom of the card there. Um, just makes it um, a bit, I know it's not going to go anywhere, it's a bit more secure with the staple, especially when it comes to things like fabric and um, twine and things like that. So I'm just snipping the edges of my washi or the ends of my washi into fishtails there. And then I'm just going to trim off all the ends of my little bits and pieces there we go. And then I'm just going to stick that bow right over the top and adhere that with another little staple. I'm just using my tiny attacher. There we go. That is also not going to move. So I'm just going to glue all the backing down um, the back of my card here, but I'm not going to glue the bow or anything. I kind of like that it's lifting up a little bit. And just a quick sketchy border with my Pigma Micron all the way around the outside of this page. And then I will just pop in a few lines of journaling at the top of the page about this amazingly decorated house and that we got to visit Santa at the last minute because Santa was there with his sleigh. It was pretty cool. So I'm just writing that in really quickly and then we are going to move on to 
the second page of the 24th. So I am just going through here and another cut file <laughs> backing this cut file. So this is the Christmas tree number one from Confessions of a Paper Addict. I'll leave the links to the cut files I've used in the description box too so you can find them easily. But I'm just going to go through, I backed the little star with some gold glitter paper and then I'm just going to back the rest of the tree on this amazing paper from Kaisercraft. It's from the Mint Wishes collection I'm pretty sure and it's a, it's a photographic um, like photo realistic paper so a lot of people probably would struggle with that but I just really love that it's uh, that beautiful evergreen pattern and that it's that minty green color I just love that color so much so I am actually going to make a flip on this page because I I want to <laughs> um, so I'm just going through with this craft that is part of that uh, Christmas card pack that I have there I'm flipping through it again so I'm going to use a craft and I've just torn the edge because I'm going to make that kind of the base of my page and now I'm going to trim this one down and I've left about a centimeter on the other side of the fold because I'm going to actually just use that as my uh, flip it's already uh, pre-folded it's perfect for a flip I'm just going through and marking where I want it to finish and I'm just going to go through and tear that again. I really love torn edges so it's something I do quite a lot. So I've just done that and now I'm going to again mark it the width so I can just trim that down to size. This will all make a bit more sense in a minute. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just behind the edge of my fold there and adhere that right to the top. Once I figure out exactly where I want it to go and I'll actually just go off camera and run that through my sewing machine as well. And that does go through my journaling on the other side slightly, but not enough that you can't read it. And I've just used white, so it doesn't really matter too much, but I just really didn't want that flip to come off. So sewing is just ensuring that that is not going to move. I'm just going to add a little bit of decoration here behind it. So I'm just really covering up that stitching with this strip of paper and I really like these snowflakes. It's pretty get my photo all ready. So that is just a photo of um, all the presents under the tree after Santa had been and he's eaten his cookies. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to glue the craft piece just at the bottom, just there. And then I'll just glue my little tree right to that flip. And I will come in as well with uh, another staple again, just to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll just pop a little die cut gold glitter star just over the top of that staple just to hide it. It doesn't really matter, but it was just bothering me. I'm also going to add another one just here right on top of my photo because you can sort of see behind my tree there the stem of my um, standing lamp. So it's just kind of like a weird black line. So I just wanted to cover it up. Um, we had a tiny tree this year because my daughter was very much um, moving around and pulling things down. So we didn't want her to um, hurt herself. So we just had a little live tree going to pop my number right there because there was a bit of just empty floor in the photo so that's just a, a good space for it. This is a tag that Santa left on one of our gifts for my son so I'm going to include it in the album. It's just a white with some gold glitter on the bottom so it uh, fits really nicely with this page. I'm just adding some gold embroidery thread through the loop. If you have ever worked with this stuff before, you know it's a bit of a nightmare. So I've just uh, struggled with it quite a bit, <laughs> but I finally got it on there. And then I've used a tiny staple again, just to hold it there. Glue does not like to hold that thread. So what I'm going to do here behind my tag is just build up kind of like a bunch of strips of different pattern paper and washi going to use a bunch of my scraps up and I'm tearing some of the edges and I will come in in a minute with uh, a punch, an edge punch. So I just want to add lots of different patterns and textures here. So you can see I'm also varying the width and I'm going to stagger them down the page so they're not all the same. It keeps it looking nice and interesting especially on a page like this where I've just left the background white and that tag is mostly white as well so what I'm really trying to do here is just make sure that the tag doesn't disappear into that white background. But there's a lot going on on the other page with the flip and the tree. So I didn't want to add another whole page of pattern paper. So this is a nice way to add interest without completely dominating the other page. So I'm adding some more of that craft there and I've just punched the edge out. I'm going to tuck in some more of this really pretty reindeer washi that I've used throughout the album. Just tearing off those edges. I'm going to bend up all these little um, notebook tabs and slide some gold foil washi under here. Stuck it underneath. There we go. And then 
just pop on my little scraps of washi. May as well get them used up. Then another strip of that snowflake paper. I love that paper. Pretty much all gone now, I think. And then again, just coming in with some wet glue to make sure this doesn't go anywhere once my album's being handled. Now for the rest of the page, I'm going to just come in with some hand lettering using my Tombow Jewel Tip brush pens. And I'm just going to use a combination of this pale pink and the mint. I've just flipped it around to use the little bullet tip for that um, before. So I'm just writing out the night before Christmas. Um, if you want to know what colours I've used, I'll um, just leave a comment and I'll look it up. I'm just going through now with my Pigma Micron pen and tracing around the outside of the letters because they are a very pale pastel colour and it was quite difficult to see them on the white background. So this just helps them really stand out. And once I've gone through and done that on all the letters, I'm just going to come in with my Uniball Signo broad tip gel pen in white. <laughs> It's a bit of a mouthful and just do a highlight like a light highlight on all those letters adding a couple of strips of washi i'll just use this really pretty pink bow um, i think it's a five mil width washi from simply gilded and watch me struggle <laughs> with the tassel on this tag it takes me ages to get it um, but there i go I get there so i'm just putting some of this top and bottom um, i'll come in with a mint as well at the end uh, a couple more clear stickers i just want to add I don't know more <laughs> so I put in a pine cone and a branch and I'll come in with a few of these teeny little snowflakes as well just sprinkle those around where there's gaps I'm just gonna move this one over a little bit I'll just trim off that excess and now I'm going to come in with that mint washi so it's the same with just a tiny five mil one but this one has gold foiled little speckly stars all over it it's really pretty and that is day 24 done. We're almost there. Thank you so much for joining me. Close-ups are coming up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.